Okay, right, so social media is out of control. This ties into a conversation I was having with somebody the other day that essentially was talking to me about their perfect physique. We all have a perfect physique. We all have some sort of inspirational motivation we're going for. And as we've said on many a video here on Cyber Miller's Fitness Channel, whatever the hell we're calling this, actually, the first day you pick up a weight, the first time you go to the Fitness Palace of Love, aka the gym, is actually the day where you're probably never going to be happy with your body again. I don't mean that in a bad way. It's just what brains do. We shift the bar, we move the expectations. So if you decided in your head, I want to get to 205 pounds, and have 7.5% body fat, which actually would be pretty damn amazing. I think I've pushed that too far, but let's just go with it anyway. As soon as you get there, you think, well, what if I could be 215 pounds and 6% body fat? And then all of a sudden you go back to the drawing board and you try and start again. Now, in many ways, we actually need this because if you ever do get to a point where you look in the mirror and you're actually quite happy with your physique, which does happen, it's very, very rare, but it will come along. Do you know what a lot of people do? All of a sudden they throw their diet out the window and decide, way, now I can have a bunch of fun because that's just the truth of it. Fit fitness and getting in shape and weightlifting or cardio, whatever the hell you want to call of it is that classic old boring adage that I always say, it's a marathon and it's not a sprint. So actually, when you do start getting going, that's when you've got to keep going. Doesn't mean that you can't have an off day here and there. In fact, I would actually tell you to do that. Otherwise, you will drive yourself crazy unless you are a robot. And if so, thanks very much for joining. But the issue we have now does come in the form of social media because I had somebody and they were like, look, I've been trying to get in shape. Would you mind having a look at some of my progress picks and let me know, we you know, where I you think I could improve? And I was like, well, I'm not 100% sure that's my remit, but you know, I'll, I'll do whatever I can. And the crazy thing was, he sent me his progress pics. And I'm not going to post them here because I haven't asked him and I don't think that's fair. But his before and after were genuinely amazing. Like his after was absolutely incredible. And he wasn't happy with it, mostly because of all the stuff that he sees on social media, right? And nothing wrong with that. If fitness influencers are everywhere, I suppose I'm one to a lesser degree. What happens is, without us even realizing it, and it's with all walks of life, it's why we have to be super careful when we are online, is that you do see these physiques, these bodies, these goals that actually aren't that realistic to have 365 days a year. So even when you achieve all your goals that you've been busting your ass for and should be giving yourself a pat on the back like Barra Horowitz, you don't appreciate them and you're not proud of yourself. You don't actually see what other people are seeing, which is why you just have to ignore all of it. Any single Twitter post or X, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, or whatever it may be, just take it all with a pinch of salt. Okay, they look like that right there, but maybe they look like that right there because of the post-workout pump, because of the lighting, because they've taken a bunch of pre-workout supplements, right? You just don't know. Maybe it's been Photoshopped. We know that happens. Look at all the magazine covers that come out, and then you get a whole fure online where people go, man, we can tell that you've mucked around with that, and it's not cool. Sometimes celebrities even come out after the fact, and they're like, man, you shouldn't be doing this, it's sending out a bad message. And ultimately, you're only doing this for you. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. I had a really good quote the other day. Live your life for you because anybody else is going to give you grief over that life doesn't want to live your life. I mean, they said it far more poetic than that, but it is accurate and it is true. It's like kind of ties into the fact that nobody can actually hurt your feelings unless you let them hurt your feelings. Now, it ain't that simple, if only it was. I mean, the phrase sticks and stones may break my bones, but names will never hurt me. I think it's the worst. <laughs> saying that has ever come up in the history of mankind because of course they're going to hurt because you are a human being. But I think it comes down to education. I think it comes down to conditioning almost to the point anytime you do see one of these, don't all of a sudden run to the mirror and compare what you've done in comparison to them. Because if all of a sudden you were put in that same environment, maybe you would look more ripped. Maybe you would look more jacked. Maybe it would like you've lost more weight than you actually have. But ultimately, if you're a 300 pound person and you've got down to 250 pounds, right then and there, it doesn't matter what you're looking like. You've dropped 50 pounds. That's absolutely incredible and you should be doing the dance of joy for a good few weeks. Of course, you don't want to fall off the horse because it's so easy to put that kind of weight back on. But it is the same when you're trying to get lean. I genuinely think people, it's going to come in different waves, right? And you're going to have different levels. But we'll just go with the extreme one because it's easier. I genuinely think some people think they're going to get down to a certain body fat and all of a sudden they get like a pro bodybuilder. I don't think they expect the size. I think most people in 2023 understand there's a genetic limitation to that. And also you may be on or maybe not on some kind of drugs, which is also going to tie it. They only look like that at the time when they peak for a show. Now, I know there's exceptions to the rule. Ronnie Coleman basically used to walk around looking like that. But he is a genetic freak, man. I mean, he's such a genetic freak, he thinks he once had 0.5% body fat. Now, he didn't because he'd be dead. But I bet you it was so low, it was kind of hard to test, which is why he does think now... 
ultimately who the hell's comparing themselves to ronnie coleman he was one of a time and one of a kind but there are a bunch of fitness influencers who again i won't name drop because there's so many of them and i miss out one and it won't be fair and i understand why they're putting in a particular image out there because it helps them sell their brand but you don't need to buy into that right you can use it as inspiration to keep on your personal fitness journey but it comes back to that classic saying you're only in competition with yourself and you only ever need to be co in competition with yourself because if you do start get to if you do start getting negative about social media it ties into the title of this video it will start killing your gains man because you'll be heading in the wrong direction you'll be pushing yourself too hard or you just fall off the wagon completely because you throw the toys out the pram you're like what's the point to begin with and there's always a point because again if you are doing it for you every pound lost is amazing every little bit of muscle you put on is amazing every bit of cardio you do is good for your heart and there's studies out there that say you know if you can be a, a daily or as close to daily cardiovascular person you're going to extend your life and i'm sorry there's nothing more important than that there's nothing more important than extending your life and wanting to live longer and it'd just be great if this kind of message was put out there more often which is why i wanted to do it and to kind of tie it in as well and i do think there's a there's a comparison here don't let anybody overcomplicate fitness for you right the only way anyone wants to do that is because they want to sell you a product or they want to sell you something that they are pretending is going to make all of this easier when actually it's not easy to begin with in terms of doing it that's the hard part but understanding what you have to do you already know it because it's been the same for 20 30 40 50 years if you're trying to lose weight you need to eat less and if you're trying to put on muscle i'm not saying you have to eat more but you have to make sure you're going smashed into the gym you have to make sure you're getting your protein in and you have to make sure you balance your macronutrients in the right way doesn't mean you can't go out there and get assistance the internet will be really good you can get a personal trainer you can watch stupid videos like mine any kind of magic pill any kind of magic supplement there are things that work creating is great and pre-workouts are great and look some fat burners they do the job but they're not all of a sudden going to turn you into the most ripped person ever you introduce them when you just need to push things a little bit more in the right direction so again if you do see someone online they're walking around crazy body fat look absolutely amazing like man i love you and they end all that with the only way i got in this is because i took x they didn't take x well they do take x and i'm sure it did help and i'm sure without it they'd look a teeny bit different but supplements the clue is in the name right it's a supplement it's there to supplement onto everything else so yes please be careful with this kind of stuff because more and more in 2023 especially i see people getting really down and really upset because they're not actually appreciating the work that they have done right and you should be doing it and nobody else has to give you any kind of boost you don't need any compliments or any words from anybody else you know what the numbers were you know how you used to look in the mirror and the fact that you continue to smash it and the fact that you continue to find that motivation even on days when you don't want to go i think is absolutely amazing because life is hard enough so when all of a sudden you decide you know what to try and embetter myself i'm going to make sure i get in good shape as well that's totally cool man and you have to decide what you think good shape is right everyone's going to be different some people will go with the classic once to like brad pitt and fight club some people just want to be a healthy guy just want to walk around low body fat feeling pretty good and every now and then they can have a snack some people want to be arnold schwarzenegger and that's okay too but you're never going to be able to get there so use these as the dangling carrot but don't make them the be all and end all and ultimately more people need to say this just be kind to yourself it's your life and life is there to be enjoyed. Now, please do like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Get the bell ding ding to be part of the notification crew. There will be a video on the screen. Give it a click. Even if you don't want to watch it, I'd appreciate it. It would be good of you. Again, listen, I do use sub supplements. I get them all from Gorilla Mind. And that's why I jumped on board with them because they saw that I was using all of them. And I had a YouTube channel. It's gorillamind.com for Sir Simon. Use code Simon get 10% off. They just launched brand new hydration electrolyte drinks. I'm going to be totally honest and transparent with you. You never need to take any of this kind of stuff. But I take their pre workout. I do take these electrolyte drinks. I take their pre workout out stuff there's a bunch of stuff that i do take and i just repeated myself there the point is i do like supplementation i do think it gives me a little bit of a boost and these are my favorite ones do you have to believe me no you do not it ties into everything i just said i'm also on instagram and twitter or x at simon of 316 patreon.com for the simon of 316 on cameo personalized videos if you want some kind of crazy shout out from me check out what culture wrestling for my wrestling stuff plus i have a wrestling podcast i have merchandise at pro wrestling tees and samps and athletics there are links in the description below but otherwise i want you to be nice to yourself today go look in the mirror and find one thing you like about yourself and just give yourself a compliment. You don't even have to mean it, but you'd be surprised what it does to your brain. Then go to the gym and smash it. Goodbye.